Hi, I'm Brendan for abt.bike. And in this video, I am going to try to break down in the simplest possible terms how to choose the right T47 bottom bracket for you. Now, there are a whole lot of options, especially if you're going with Chris King because they do have a lot of fit kit options that come into it, just like with all their bottom brackets. So for that kind of detail, I'd recommend looking at the links in the description, which will give you more information about what particular fit kit you're going to need for your setup. But hopefully after watching this video, you'll at least know what bottom bracket you need if you have a T47 system. Briefly, there are two types of T47 bottom bracket. There's the internal style, which places the bearings inside the bottom bracket. So this essentially ends up being the same width as the bottom bracket shell. And then there is the external style. And this, much like the outboard bearing bottom brackets that we're used to, like BSA bottom brackets, this places the bearings outside of the cup. So this effectively widens the bottom bracket. Now, Chris King makes a T4730i, the internal, and a 30X, which is the external. White Industries makes an internal version and an external version. I and E are the letters that go with those. As I mentioned earlier, Chris King uses fit kits to adapt their bottom brackets to different size cranks. So the 30 millimeter T47, 30I and X use fit kits to adapt them to 30 millimeter crank sets and to dub crank sets, 29. And the 24 millimeter T47, 24I and 24X use fit kits to adapt them to 24 millimeter crank sets such as Shimano and to stepped 24, 22 millimeter crank sets like GXP. Just like with the rest of their bottom brackets, not, let's not complicate this more than necessary. Um, White Industries actually makes different bottom brackets for each of those sizes and they choose a different size bearing and so they're not they're not adaptable in the same way. But, you know, the, the benefit is that they're simple. <laughs> you get the bottom bracket for the 29 millimeter spindle and you're gonna be able to put your dub cranks in there and that's that. But you're not gonna be able to change a fit kit and put 30 millimeter ones in there. So, simple, just a different way of doing it. But, now, so with all that, kind of those basics aside, which one do you need? <laughs> You got a bike with a T47 bottom bracket shell and you got some cranks. You kind of need those two things to, to take this next step. And luckily it is, it is fairly straightforward figuring out what you need. If you have a road bike, so you're using, assuming on a road bike, you're using road bike parts, mountain bike, you're using mountain bike parts just for simplicity. Um, if you have a road bike and you have one of the wider shells, 86.5, 86, 85.5 millimeter shell, you're gonna be using the internal version, like a T4730i, 24i, or one of the internal White Industries versions. If you're using a 68 millimeter shell with your road bike, you're gonna be using one of the external versions, like this. It's gonna place the cups outside the frame. Now the one exception to this is if you have BB30 cranks. The cranks that say BB30 on the spindle, they're easy to spot. Those are narrow, and on those with your 68 millimeter shell, you're gonna use an internal T47 bottom bracket. So that's gonna be narrow. Now the same holds true basically for mountain. The wider shells, 92, 86.5, 86, 85.5. Those are all gonna use the internal version of the T47 bottom bracket, be it a 30 or a 24. With mountain bike, it's a little trickier, but basically 68, 73, and 100, those all use the external version of the T47 bottom bracket cup. Now again, the exception is BB30. If you have a BB30 mountain bike crank set, is narrow, on that 73 millimeter shell, 
you are going to use the internal T47 bottom bracket. To recap, basically what you need to know is the width of your bottom bracket shell, you need to know what cranks you're gonna use, that should give you a start right there. So I hope you found this video helpful. Um, hopefully it had some useful information. I tried to kind of distill it down to the real basic stuff that'll actually hopefully be helpful. And, um, but you know, let us know in the comments what you think. What do you think of T47 bottom brackets? Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.